Hey, hello. I want to plead that you watch this video till the end. If you don't watch till the end, you will misunderstand what I am talking about in this video. Thank you and God bless you. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the End Time Truth Television channel. We urge you to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell icon by selecting all so that the next time we upload a new video, you will be among the first persons to be notified by Google. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, Shalom. Well, it is end time and we are battling with the uh, infiltration of the church by uh, false teachers, false preachers, false prophets, as was prophesied by the Lord. But what I want you to listen to here is, this man is not a Christian, he is a Muslim cleric. But his, um, what he says about Jesus, you hardly would hear from many of the so-called uh, preachers of today. Those that um, are in the church because of their belly, you wouldn't hear them talk, you know, like, I mean, anywhere near what this man says of Jesus Christ. He believes that Jesus is the Messiah, and he believes that Jesus will definitely return. You know, let me not let the, the cut out of the bag yet. I would like you to please listen to him and kindly share the video, like it if you do, and subscribe to our channel if the video blesses you. Share the link, and God bless you. I'll be seeing you in the next video shortly. Till I come your way again, I remain your brother in the Lord. From me to you, Shalom. What was Jesus? In the Quran, Jesus is called the Nabi, a prophet. But then he was more than that. He was a Rasul. 124,000 prophets, Nabi. 315 Rasul, messengers. So Jesus was a Nabi and a Rasul, like many prophets. Muhammad was a Nabi and a Rasul. Moses was a Nabi and a Rasul. Isa, a Nabi and a Rasul. But there is something about Jesus. I have looked and I have not found this title except with Jesus. In the Quran, Jesus is referred to 11 times with this title, El Masih. El Masih, El Masih. El Masih. Eleven times in the Quran. No other prophet called El Masih. What does Christ mean? What does Christ mean? Anointed. Anointed. Muslims think that Christians take their name from Jesus. They don't take their name from Jesus. They're called Christians. They take their name from the anointed one. In Hebrew, it would be Messiah. Jesus is the Messiah. Do Jews believe in Jesus as a prophet? No. Do Jews believe in Jesus as a Messiah? No. Why don't they believe in him as a Messiah? Huh? Why? Why don't they believe in him as the Messiah? Because why? Huh? Huh? No, no. Yes. Yeah. He didn't do the job of the Messiah. The Messiah was supposed to come and bring peace on the earth. He didn't do it, so he's not the Messiah. But why must Jesus come back? This stuff is good, man. I mean, really, honestly, this stuff is, this is delicious. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you about whom we worship. 
whom the Christians and the Muslims and the Jews worship. Because Allah says in the Quran, Ilahuna wa ilahukum wahid. Your God and our God is one. Our God and your God is one. There's only one God. We, 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 sometimes we get it wrong, you know. Why? Because we're people of faith. We believe. We believe, you believe, and we believe. Now, Allah says in the Quran, وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهِ يَفْعَلُوا مَا يُرِيدُ And God does whatever He wants to do. You believe that? Now look throughout history and see how Allah, God, has saved His prophets. Moses, He saved them from Pharaoh in a miraculous way. He saved the children of Israel, they went across the Red Sea, and He drowned Pharaoh and the, uh, his soldiers. Look at Abraham. Abraham was about to be thrown in the fire. And Allah ordered the fire to be cool. Abraham didn't die in the fire. Why? Allah does what he please. Everyone tonight agree that God can do whatever he wants. True? He has the power. But hasn't God Almighty allowed some prophets to be murdered. It's in the Quran. Some prophets were murdered. It's in the Torah. It's in the Bible. The cousin of Jesus, what was his name? Yahya. Uh, uh, John. John the Baptist. It's reported that he was murdered. He was beheaded. Other prophets had died. God not able to save them? Of course he was. Was able to save them, but he didn't. Why? For his reason. His reasons are beyond us. This is what makes him who he is. We, you know, I was uh, uh, at an airport and um, I had just come back from, uh, from a trip in the Guadi Airport, and I got a cab. And the cab driver was listening to a a radio station, and a, and a preacher was preaching, and I'm listening to the sermon, and the preacher says something like this. Well, if, if I were God, I would have done it this way. And I said, no, if you were God, you'd do the same way God did it. Because that's what making God. You, you see? We ain't, ain't. I mean, we're right. We're the... So why did God do it that way? Not only did Allah save Jesus, but he saved them in a very special way. He raised them up to himself, and Jesus is in heaven. One of the things that Jesus called in the Quran, and by the way, I'm working on my conclusion. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, we're about to land soon. So make sure your seatbelts are on. Allah mentions in the Quran, إِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٍ لِسَعَةٍ That Jesus is a sign of the sa'a, of the hour. Jesus is a sign of the hour. And according to our tradition of our prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, the day of judgment will not happen until there are some signs. And one of the signs is the return of Jesus. Muslims absolutely believe in the return of Jesus. Jesus has to come. Why? He has to fulfill the Messiah. He has to come, and Jesus will be a just ruler. It's there. We believe it. See, we're not hiding it. Jesus will come to this earth as a just ruler. Why? He's al Masih. He is the Messiah. And it will come about, and Jesus will come about, and he's not going to teach a new teachings. It's going to be the same teaching that we have, the teaching of the last book of Al-Quran. And Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him, will bring about justice on this earth. And according to what our prophet taught us, peace and blessing be upon him, there is no more difficult trial to human beings than what is called adajal, what you call the Antichrist. The Antichrist is real. He will bring havoc on this earth, called the Antichrist. And lo and behold, who will put an end to the Antichrist? Is Jesus. Is Jesus.